there, there's there's a, a very short leap from intelligence investigations to law enforcement. And I don't know why there's such a taboo to say, OK, if you live in Somalia, you might not be an ideologue. It might just be that farmer going about his business. But if you see something, say something. We can apply mm-hmm. that locally if we try to if we try to apply that globally. All of a sudden we're xenophobes, <laughs> which, which is horrible and idiotic. And I think yeah. the other thing to point out and, and the Somali community in America has provided more jihadists traveling overseas by a massive percentage yep. than any other community. So it, it's fair, like you say, to look at them. The other piece of it is we need to really remember as a country that what worked And you mentioned a couple immigrant groups that caught quite a lot of bigotry and hatred when they came. Italians and Irish Irish, were just abused when they first came to the country. Okay, that's basically whatever. I'm the grandson of an immigrant. My grandmother came over on a boat from Sweden. We didn't catch quite as much crap. I don't know. I guess maybe it's the Swedish nice thing. But whatever (laughs) it is, when you come to the country, the first thing you need to be looking at is I'm an American now first. Therefore, I may have cultural affiliations. I may have, you know, relatives in the old country, whatever you have. Great. Don't lose those. But do remember that now your allegiance literally is to the United States first. That's right. Not to anything else. You can have your God. OK, we're not going to take anybody's gods away from That's right. That's right. But when you talk about earthly affiliations, your allegiance is to the United States, so act like it. Assimilate, learn a language, and decide that if there are people who are doing things that are detrimental to all of us, see something, say something, well, just like you, you said. Yeah, you know, look, my grandfather, I, I was, uh, I'm was i kind of an anomaly in that all my grandparents were born here in the U.S. and a couple of my great-grandparents were born here. But my grandfather, my mother's father, his parents were both born in Italy, and they came here and they had a pretty successful business before the Great Depression. But one of my great grandfather's rules was you're not allowed to speak Italian in the house (laughs) and you're not allowed to speak Italian out with your friends who also speak Italian. You're in America to assimilate. You need to have an an accent free. Uh, Your English needs to be accent free because that's the only way you're going to thrive. It's the only way you're going to be able to bring this business to the next level. And there was that that desire to be American, the Mm -hmm. the Italian immigrants, the Irish immigrants, the Swedish back then, they never would have uh, have engaged in rallies and waved flags saying, make America Italy again, waving the Italian flag. I mean, what we're seeing today (laughs) from the Mexicans is disgraceful. And it was a different mindset with regards to assimilation back then. Yeah. And and it's become demonized now. The the left has decided that America must pay for its sins. And because anything ever happened that was less than optimal, we, we must no longer be proud of America. That's not why people want to come here, all right? The people here with, the, with their liberal guilt are not emblematic of the immigrants they say should not like America. So we should encourage this. We should tell people, be proud. Yes, come here. Bring your skills. Bring your quality. And bring your culture. Right. And then use your culture. We want the food. We want the interesting music. We want all that stuff. We, we just do. want you to go ahead and be part of this culture. Be part of the melting pot, which incidentally is no longer the metaphor of the day. Be part of America. And then what we'll do for you is all those things that made some of those countries bleep holes will no longer apply to you here. What a blissful thing for everybody. Well, isn't merit-based immigration about the least racist and least xenophobic (laughs) concept? No matter who you are, no matter where you're from, if you have something to add, we want you. Yeah. And you know what the funny thing is? The the left likes to, to tell us we should be like other countries. They like to tell us we should have Scandinavian health care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. they hate the fact when we bring up Australia and its merit-based immigration program, because somehow they honestly, John, it's the fact that they don't want equality of opportunity. They want equality of outcome. Well, so right. if somehow that's that right. doesn't get them the people they want, then they want to do quotas and do something else. They're the ones who are making this about skin color. It's not me. Yeah. If my doctor happens to have extremely dark skin exactly. and a brilliant mind and a couple of degrees, then dude, tell me what's wrong with me. All right. That's, that's right. not the issue. I want quality people. I don't care how much melanin they've got. Well, exactly. Exactly. And I, I turned that exact argument on, on a leftist the other day when they said we should be more like Europe. I said, I agree. Let's be more like Switzerland, because right now, if you want to apply for citizenship in Switzerland and you were on welfare for the previous three years, you've got to pay every penny back to the government before (laughs) applying. So I'm with you, liberals. Let's be exactly like Europe. 
Let's, let's do it. You win. Yeah, you know, they're, they're a little selective in the way they like to employ yeah. that. Yeah. But I, again, it's the idea of demonizing and, and making any common sense thing like having borders, like having merit based immigration. Their default setting is to claim that any of that, any enforcement of norms, of, of laws, of anything else is somehow racist because right. they don't want to have the argument on the merits. And I, I find it comical. You know, I, I love the fact one of the things in special forces, pretty much everywhere we go, we do a lot of humanitarian work. Oh, I so know. we build yeah. schools, yeah. we immunize kids, we dig wells. And I, I get these liberals lecturing me about how somehow I'm Islamophobic. I don't like brown people. I'm right. like, how many little brown kids have you ever immunized? You know, how much dentist work have you done for these people? None. They want to yep. sit in their limousine liberal neighborhoods, gated communities, and lecture us. You've been on the streets keeping people safe. I've been around the world keeping people safe. But we're the bad guys because we're, somehow oh, when yeah. it the rules. we're the racist xenophobe my command was 99 percent non-white and when i say that on air to liberal i say to them well who the hell do you think we were racing license lights and sirens to save right it, 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 who do you think our victims were we didn't all of a sudden have you know blonde haired blue-eyed white victims in the south <laughs> bronx you morons <laughs> Well, I guess, I mean, it's the hypocrisy. You know, they they love to lecture. They don't like when you get those pesky facts and reality and, and start holding them accountable and people accountable. You know, we can hold people accountable for their actions and say, if what you're doing is detrimental to all of us, you're wrong. Not based on your skin color, not based right. on your religion, based on your actions. And if that disproportionately affects some communities more than others, then shouldn't that community be dealing with it instead of whining yep. to us that somehow catching people doing the you know, breaking the law is the wrong thing? I don't think so. No, and, and that is a perfect way to wrap this up. Exactly. Personal responsibility and accountability. Jim, an absolute pleasure. I'm so glad we finally got to do this. Thanks very much, my friend. Oh, good stuff, John. Thanks. If you enjoyed the show, please subscribe to our premium service at www.therebel.media forward slash shows. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very, very much. I'll be back with you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.